Hey everyone, I have my hands wrapped around this mug. It is a cold day when I am filming this. Um, I guess everything's relative, but it's cold for Texas. We had freezing drizzle this morning. Anyway, this is a fun video for me personally, and I hope it's as interesting to you as it has been researching it for me. Um, these are the top sellers and most clicked on items from 2016. So as many of you know, I've not made it a secret and I've explained it very full, as fully as I can, as fully as I understand anyway. In the description box below, I do use affiliate links very often um, when I'm listing the items in my description box. Any, if, any item that is an affiliate link will be marked with an asterisk if you're new to my channel and you don't know what that is. What I can do is go back and look at what you're most interested in, what has done the, done the best, what has sold the most, and also what you've just clicked on. Um, and, and been curious about. So I thought it'd be fun for us to go back through 2016 and just look at the top 10. Not a big long list, but the top 10 sellers and the top 10 most clicked on items. There is some overlap, but there are a few standouts. And it also kind of helps me, you know, what do you want to hear about more? And what's interesting is you're not all that interested in my beauty products. Just saying. Anyway, okay, so starting from the bottom, going to the top, Started from the bottom now. I'm here. Okay, no Drake singing. Anyway, so as far as top sellers, let's stick with that. Number 10 on the list, and I will put little pictures. No, we're going that way. I'll put little pictures over here uh, if, to refresh your memory, because you've seen a lot of this in the best of 2016 already. But um, number 10 on the list were the uh, BP Moto Leggings from Nordstrom. Very, very popular item with you guys, which tells me you're just like me. You like comfort, and you like to look trendy. You're my people. Okay, number nine, unfortunately, is no longer available, but I'm wearing it right now. I have it in three colors and I still wear it all the time. It's the relaxed V-neck sweater from Loft. It's a chenille kind of sweater. And actually this should look familiar because the fabric is very similar to the Barefoot Dreams cardigan. Not exactly as soft. It's a step down in softness, but it's very similar. I know they have a Lewin gray sweater in the stores now that it's not a V-neck, it's a, a, just a regular crew neck or a round neck, which actually seems a little more appealing right now because I'm thinking that when I go outside, I'm gonna freeze. I need to cover the chest area. Okay, anyway, number eight, speaking of Barefoot Dreams, most number top eight in the seller list is the Barefoot Dreams cardigan. Um, I've heard from so many of you, especially recently in the, as we go through the best of 2016 stuff, that you purchased a cardigan based on my recommendation or somebody else's recommendation on YouTube. I don't care who you heard it from. I just want everyone to experience the wonderfulness that is Barefoot Dreams. And a lot of you have also offered suggestions on where to find other Barefoot Dreams products uh, at a lower price. So the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale is still the best price for the Circle Cardigan, at least it was this year. But QVC has the um, today's special value sometimes or just a sale which um, I found about very late this last, at the end of 2016. And sometimes they pop up at like random places like Marshalls or Nordstrom Rack. So if you see those things go on sale somewhere, let me know and I can blast it out on social media so we can all get in on that because, wow, okay. Number seven on the list is the Woven Twill Tunic, which is a fancy word name for a, um, like a chambray material white button down shirt that I got in the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which of course, last time I checked, not available anymore. Thanks Nordstrom. But um, it is, if it comes back or maybe it'll be at Nordstrom Rack, I'll take a peek. It's just, it's a nice, it's a oversized button down shirt. I got it in white. It did come in other colors at the time and it's great to wear over leggings with boots. It's very soft. It's not stiff like a, like a proper, you know, like Oxford cloth button down shirt so it drapes over the body well and it goes well under things because it's not so stiff. You can wear you know, like a cute vest or a sweater over it and it or like another oversized sweater and it it just, I really enjoy that. It reminds me that I need to iron it and start wearing it. Okay, number six on my list was something I never even got around to buying and it is one of maybe my only regret that I didn't purchase, and I'm hoping it comes back around in the sale again, and that was the Morning Suede Moto Jacket. So I got the faux leather Moto Jacket in the anniversary sale, and in fact bought another one in the half yearly sale. They also had one that was in a suede version, and it was a rich cognac color, and it was gorgeous, and I 
dilly-dallied and I thought, oh, do I really need two? Yes, well, now it would be three. Yes, I do. Marnie, what are you thinking? So I missed the sale. It's still available. It's still a good price, full price. Maybe I need to pull the trigger on that. Oh, I'm gonna talk myself into it right now on camera. Oh gosh, it's great, it's beautiful. And obviously so many of you thought so as well because it's number six on the list. Number five is the Split Neck Mixed Media Tunic, which is one of two Pleone tops that I adore and so do you guys. So they're always in stock at Nordstrom. They go in and out as far as what patterns or solids are in stock, but the last time I checked they were on sale. They're constantly going on sale so always take a peek there um, before you grab one full price. Check the sales section, um, either in the store or if you're going online. Actually, you don't even have to check. If you go online, Nordstrom just displays all their sale items with their regular stuff. So you don't have to make a special click to find the sale stuff. So thank you, Nordstrom, for doing that. Okay, now we're into the top of the list. Number four is something that I have that I have worn twice and I forgot I have it. I need to take it out because it's gonna be great for spring. It's the draped utility jacket. I love a utility jacket. I have an olive green one that I wear maybe more than I should. And I thought it'd be nice to branch out and get one in black. And it's very lightweight. It's almost like a, it's not linen, but it feels like linen. It's very lightweight, so it's great for springtime. It's a little more drapey and less, constructed and less rugged than your typical utility jacket. And the black kind of makes it a little more, I wouldn't say formal, it's still a utility jacket, but just a little less young, if that makes any sense to you. So it's a great jacket and apparently you all agreed. All right, top three, Vanity Saddlebag from Rebecca Minkoff. You will have seen it recently mentioned in my Best of Accessories. It's still available. It wasn't available for a really long time after the anniversary sale and it just popped up again and they've released it in even more colors. So if you want to get in on the vanity saddlebag, now's your chance to grab it. They have it in, I mean, I'm not going to get two of them, but they have one in gray. Oh, so beautiful. Okay. Number two, I love this. I still want to buy more of them. It's the Castlon sweatshirt. We all love it. We all know how amazing it is. I had it on recently and Michael kept reaching over and like petting me. Okay, that sounded wrong. Like petting the sweatshirt. And he's like, it's so soft. Yes, that's why I wear it. It's amazing. It's so comfortable. And you can totally dress that thing up and make it look a little less frumpy than, oh, I'm just wearing a sweatshirt and leggings. I mean, it's just, you can size down. It does run a little big. Size it down, make it a little shorter and tighter and wear like a cute vest or cute cardigan over it and a, some funky jewelry and now you're just, you're cool. Wear it with a skirt. Pair it with like a denim skirt or, I don't know, I'm not the fashion person, but I've seen people wearing them with skirts and cute boots and it actually looks pretty cute, so okay. And then the last, number one, top seller of 2016 was the high-low v-neck mixed media top. Again, another Pleone shirt, you know, we have good taste, that's all I can say. Of course I think so because you like what I like. But again, it's stylish, it's comfortable, it flatters the body, it can be worn casually, you can dress it up, you can easily wear it to work, you can wear it to uh, on your everyday, you know, I, I pair it with a pair of jeans, wear it to volunteer at school, wear it to a PTA meeting, whatever, wherever you are in your life, these Pleone tops can kind of, they're very chameleon-like. They can be worn in a variety of settings and they're great price points. So very pleased with both of those options and really need to get more Pleone tops in my life. Okay, this is going to be a shopping trip for me at the end of this video. Now let's segue over to most clicked on, which is interesting because to me that says y'all are just curious about it and you wanna know either more about the product or you wanna know how much I paid for it which is what I think is really happening. So um, a lot of these were the same. Uh, so I'm like the relaxed V-neck, the drape utility jacket, the woven twill tunic, I'm reading my list. Uh, the cast on sweatshirt, those were all on the list. Then we get to one that wasn't and I'm wearing it today, but it'll, it's the only makeup item. The only makeup, yes, the only makeup item that made it on either list, top 10 of either one, was the Milani Bake Bronzer. That just intrigued you guys. I don't, I don't know, I mean, I like it. I'm wearing it right now. It, I think, is a great dupe for the Hourglass Ambient Bronzer. Hang on. And it's a drugstore um, product. It's a great price point. 
and it comes in deeper colors as well if you have a deeper skin tone, which is the vast majority of you. So great choice. Uh, next on the list was this guy. It's my David Yerman bracelet, which um, you know you don't re really see up close, obviously. I wear it every day, but um, there it is. I got it for Hanukkah, I don't know, two, three years ago now from Michael. And it's just the classic cable classics. Um, it's silver and has a little bit of gold on each end and then little pave, I don't even know if they're pave diamonds, like little teeny tiny diamond chips on each end. And I just, I wear it every day stacked up next to my watch, which the watch is number two on most clicked. And this watch is, um, they're always listed in the description box, way at the bottom. This is from Michelle and um, I got mine at Nordstrom. And you buy, with the Michelle watches, you buy the head separate from the band. So you can kind of mix and match if you want. And I am gonna butcher this, but I believe I chose the smaller, I'm gonna, I chose this, I wanted a square rectangle head. I like that. Um, I chose the smaller. A lot of girls are wearing those big oversized ones. I just figured if you're gonna invest in a watch, this is not an inexpensive watch, and if you're gonna invest this kind of money, I want something that's going to last and be in style for a very, very long time. And I wasn't sure how the oversized thing trend is going to play out over time, but a classic sized watch face, that's not going anywhere. Um, also, because of the size, it could be worn every day, but it could also be worn as a dress watch. And there are diamonds um, all along the edge. I did want some bling. And then I chose the two-tone band and the two-tone face with the two metals because I wanna wear it every day and I don't wanna think about having to swap out my watch or have a backup watch. Although, Michael, if you're watching and if you feel like buying me another watch, by all means do so, but um, I'm good. I've got this guy and I haven't worn any other watch since I put it on. And then um, as far as what else is on there that wasn't on the other list, my Diva Ring Light got a ton of clicks, which is funny to me because I listed in there as the equipment that I use, but I haven't actually turned that thing on. Whew. I, it's such a pain in the you know what to set up the lights. And now that we have Rowdy, who is a little tornado through here, I, I can't even imagine. Like it would shatter, glasses be everywhere. So unless I have to film at night, um, I don't set up the lights. And since that almost never happens, my day is pretty flexible. Most of the time I can film during the day. Like right now it's very overcast and cloudy, but I'm still filming in natural daylight. So um, I usually don't use it, but you guys were very interested in it. And then the most clicked on item for 2016 is something I can't show you because it's being used over there. And it is my camera that I film with. It's the Canon T6i, Canon Rebel T6i. I have been using it at least a year now, I guess. I think all of 2016 was pretty much um, the length of time I've been using it. Maybe I got it at the end of 2015, but um, I love it. I love upgrading to the DSLR. I feel like it gives me a better video quality, which I know a lot of you say you don't care, but trust me, it, you do. It's just nicer to look at something you can actually see. I am in the market for a new camera still researching. So um, I really, really miss the good old days when I was filming with the video camera and I could swatch something on my hand and go like this. See, doesn't focus, right? You have to do a cutaway on, on a separate thing and do the close up and then splice it in. And I like the fuzzy background. I really, really like a fuzzy background. That's just my personal opinion. I love it. I love watching other people who film that way. I enjoy filming with the fuzzy background. It also allows me to not have a perfect background behind me. But uh, I miss that zoom. Well, the video camera can give me the zoom, but it can't give me the fuzzy background. My Canon, the T6i, can give me the fuzzy background, but not really the zoom that I'm looking for. So to get that, I'm gonna have to upgrade my camera. And therein lies my dilemma. So that's what I'm dealing with now. Anybody who films YouTube videos, who likes to do this, not to, not to flick off their viewers, but to like say, look here, please let me know what you use and what lens and all that because I miss just the casualness of being like, hey, look at that and zoom and not zoom, but autofocus. So, okay, that was maybe more technical than you needed. But anyway, that is my whole list, my top sellers and most clicked on items of 2016. 
almost all clothing and a little bit of electronics thrown in. So kind of tells me what y'all are interested in. Uh, but don't worry, nothing's really changing here. My love, my first love will always be beauty and that's still the focus of this channel. I will continue to sprinkle in my fashion favorites. I use the word fashion very loosely. Clothing favorites, accessories, all kinds of lifestyle stuff. That's not going anywhere. But um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for traveling back through 2016 with me. Now let's get a move on and take a look forward to 2017. So make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss anything. If you click the notifications bell next to the subscribed, we'll all be here together every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday mornings for vlogs. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.